Today's video has been brought to you by our friends at Grub Terra. Now let's see if I can pick it up. Looks awfully heavy. Well, that was just pretty much a complete disaster, <laughs> but it's up there. It just, it was, it was off on this end. It was off on this end. It, the whole thing was twisted, really. And uh, it wanted to fall one way on this end and the other way on that end. And the studs were twisting and uh, yeah, it required two people. So thankfully my daughter was out here already and I was able to get my wife out here and they were able to, able to assist. Too bad the camera shut off. I think that my number one mistake there was trying to push that that wall up with the tractor and instead of trying to pull it up with some ropes with the tractor and the, the main issue here is that this lumber is just so heavy it's true two by four lumber it's green and uh, it's just extremely heavy I can't do it by myself of course and I was thinking very seriously about going ahead and doing if you can see this behind me doing this other wall or the it would be the back of the chicken house actually so that I could go ahead and brace that up against this this wall right here that's already up but then I realized then I would have trouble putting this opposite wall up right here so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this up this opposite wall up right here and go from there if y'all hadn't figured it out yet I'm really not a carpenter I'm just kind of making it up as I go along <laughs>
What could happen? That was just a little bit dicey still, but it worked out a whole lot better than the first wall. It didn't take nearly as long and I didn't need any help. So that worked out pretty good. Grub Terra is actually pretty cool stuff. It's a snack for chickens that is black soldier fly larva. It's produced in the United States and it's got 75% more calcium than typical mealworms. And an 80 ounce bag of this stuff can feed 25 chickens for an entire month because you only use a handful or two a day. And my experience so far with this stuff is that my chickens really, really enjoy it. And if you'd like to try it out, there's going to be a link in the description of this video and in the comment section. Click that link and the channel can get a kickback on that. And enter FLR as the promo code and you can get 10% off of your order. Left hand, it doesn't work.
all right so i'm going to be done for today uh, for a couple of reasons one reason is the temperature that i just showed you it's I think it said 105 was the heat index or something like that it's pretty rough out here also i'm just about out of nails but let's look at what we've got accomplished just today so i was able to get this wall placed and it worked a whole lot better pulling it up with the rope you can see the rope laying over there in the uh in the briars but i worked a whole lot better with uh, pulling the rope up as opposed to pushing it up with the grapple it was a lot less destructive and it went up pretty pretty easily uh, this we got framed up and i'm sure a whole lot of you actual carpenters out there on the channel were cringing but it was just a whole lot easier for me to frame it upright like that rather than putting it down like that and pushing it up or pulling it up somehow and i figured that it would get caught on either this wall or this wall so i just kind of took a chance and uh, tried to do it upright and it worked out pretty well I want to show you what I'm trying to do here. This right here, this little box right here, it's a tiny, tiny door basically, and it's going to be the door for the chickens to come out of uh, in the mornings and come back in in the evenings. And out there will be the chicken yard fenced in, of course. And my plan here is actually to make a sliding door that will slide up and I'll have it running, I have a string attached to it running up back here, all the way to the top, all the way across the rafters, and then back down over there with a series of pulleys or something. So I'll be able to just pull a rope in the mornings and open that door so the chickens can get out. Hopefully that'll work out. Also got this door framed up here in the center. It's just a standard 36 by 80 inch door, nothing real special about it. Uh, my plan here on these walls is to put a couple of windows in here and when I, when I say windows I mean just uh, you know a wooden door that opens and it'll have like some kind of hardware mesh or some kind of heavy wire cloth inside of it to keep uh, snakes and stuff like that out so I can open all these windows and have some airflow in here pretty decent progress today I will get some nails or my plan at least is to get some more nails in the morning we'll see if we can get the front of this thing framed up
Guys, I'm going to go ahead and do the outro for this video. Storm clouds have been just kind of all around me all day long, and I'm afraid my luck's just about to run out. So I want to go ahead and do an outro for this video before I get before I quite get this done. So here's what. Whoops. Get that out of the way of the microphone cord. So here's what's going on here. Um, this little area right here is going to be a little door where I can just come out and have access to the brood boxes from the outside. I'll be able to have a little trap door right here that I can bring down. It'll latch right up here and I'll just open it and be able to have access to my eggs without going into the chicken house right here and these two by fours right here I decided to put them up on edge like this this is only 64 and a half inches not a huge span but I decided to put them up on edge like this because I was thinking maybe that would give me a little extra strength um, because because there's not going to be anything in this gap right here supporting it. There's really not anything that's going to be a load in this area anyway, so I'm really not sweating it that much. So that's kind of why I put those up on end like that. Uh, this is the doorway, and just a, again, it's a standard. It came out to a little under 36, maybe 35, something like that. That was just some of my lumber dimensions, a mistake there. But that's just the doorway of the front of the chicken house right here. And I may put another window right here as well, a larger window. I may put my my um, uh, studs right here offset somewhat closer to the edges or closer to the outside right here of this little frame. And I may put a larger window right in the middle. I'm trying to get as much ventilation really as I can for these chickens because it does get hot. And uh, there's not a ton of shade right here from about uh, 1030 or so to maybe 3 o'clock. Um, but anyway, I believe this is pretty well it for framing this up. I do need to put another top plate. I decided to go with two top plates on the top. This one only has one. The one on the other side has two top plates. That's just to give it some added strength on the top there for the, um, for the trusses to sit on. And I am planning on trying my hand on building some trusses for this. They won't be special. They'll just be some simple trusses for a little shed. This span up here is less than 10 feet, so I don't think I'm going to need anything super complicated the reason that I'm going with trusses up here is I really wanted a triangular roof on this I know how to build a shed and I kind of wanted to challenge myself to put an angled roof on this thing and I think it would look a whole lot better as well so those that was kind of my reasoning for that so we cut about 50 two by fours for this project and you can see we have blown right through them here there are a few pieces maybe six or so pieces still sitting on the sawmill and uh, I may may have to break those out eventually but uh, anyway we have used quite a few two by fours here so i'm going to finish up these two studs right here if the weather permits and i really appreciate y'all watching and i will see y'all on the next one